I had a friend in my childhood who was mentally and physically disabled. Throughout her life, she never judged people based on appearance or gender or religion. She simply got to know people and loved you for good things about you. She showed me the real meaning of purity and she showed me the importance of having an open mind and an open heart. And she passed away when she was seven, but uh, she's still in my life. To this day, she still influences the way I act and the way I think. And I'm so very grateful that she was a part of my life. I have a friend who is a rape survivor. I was friends with her for several years prior to the incident, and the rapist was her boyfriend, someone that I trusted and liked. Someone that she trusted and liked. She text messaged me uh, immediately after the incident, and by the time I saw her, she was already bruised and cut and afraid, and I was the one that had to call the cops, and I was the one that had to talk to the police with her, and I was the one that had to hold her hand in the hospital while nurses took her clothes and ripped her hair out and scraped her skin collecting samples to try to get DNA evidence against the attacker. I was there while he continued to stalk her after the incident and dealt with the police issues. I was there and I learned what betrayal and pain and fear can be. And this is also a valuable lesson. I've seen friends give birth. I've seen life come into the world. I've seen life leave the world too. One of my friends was an elderly cancer patient. She started out as my job. I was her companion uh, during the day while her family was at work. And while she died of cervical cancer, I got to know her. Over, the, over several months, I, I heard stories about her past that made me laugh and made me think. And we talked about TV and books and she she was really cool. And when hospice told, uh, told her family that there was only a few more days left and that she was slipping in and out of consciousness and there probably wasn't any real need for me to continue coming to work, they tried to let me go and my friend cried. Because she wasn't just my job anymore, she was my friend and she cried. She said, please don't take Doreen away from me, please. She's the only friend I have. And so even after I was fired and I didn't have a job anymore, I continued to go because she was my friend. And she taught me, she taught me what real compassion is. And she taught me how important having a friend can be. I think about her a lot now, especially since I'm taking care of my grandma. And um, the other day my grandmother looked at me and she said, you know, you're a very special person in my life. And you're the only friend I've got. And I'm glad she's my friend. I have a friend who has multiple personality disorder. I have a friend who is a recovering alcoholic. I have a friend who is a recovering crack addict. I have a friend who is an ex-con. I have friends that are men and friends that are women. Friends that are in between. I have friends that are gay and straight and bi. Friends that are single and married. Friends that are polyamorous. 
I have friends that have been cheated on by their spouses. I have a friend that had an abortion. I have friends that have children, friends that don't want children, friends that have animals, friends that don't want animals. I have friends that are scared of animals. I have a friend who is very, very strong in his Christian faith, so much so that he works for the church, spreading the word and carrying the Bible to various places all over the country, trying to let them know about the good word. I also have a friend who believes that the origin of the human race is a bunch of aliens that left a dying planet and found this one and used it to reestablish their lost society. And that we are reincarnated, regenerated aliens who are thousands and thousands of years old. I have a friend who is a Satanist. He's a nice guy. I have friends who are Christian and Wiccan and Buddhist and Atheist. I don't care. All that it's ever shown me is that you have to think for yourself and decide for yourself what makes sense to you. But the most important thing that my friends have taught me is that everyone's different. And that's okay. It's uh, something to be happy about because the people that surround you, their values and experiences will continue to change and affect who you are years and years after they leave your life. I think that's a little bit of why we're here. You can never have too many friends.